All right, we're going back to the OK Cupid study where if you're over 22, you're over the hill, and you you're, have you're way too old. But first, let's hear from our my, our gay, our, our gay best, <laughs> best friend. I don't think it's ridiculous. I mean, I, come on, everyone, people. Everyone tweeted Karama. Yeah. They want him as their new. Who <laughs> doesn't want Karama? I'm with what it. She said, but it is ridiculous. Like in any woman who's really concerned with this at home, you shouldn't be because you should not place any value on yourself based on likes or these immature men. They're not the guys. And by the way, is anyone turning down J Lo or Thank um, you. That le what's that Latino actress? I know. Actress? I, that's what's, what's her the, name? The Sophia, Sophia Vergara. Vergara. Yes. I don't think a guy that's, of any age is turning those girls down. That's what I every time. Every time I have a birthday, I say I. Every time I have a birthday, I always tell myself I will always be younger than J Lo and Jennifer Aniston. But no one's turning them down. They're in their thirties and forties. You know, age is age. Like there's nothing you can change. That's why I think jokes about like oh you're old. Those type of jokes I think are so stupid because we're all going to be old one day and it's like there's nothing you can do about it and you know unfortunately if you these of course these guys are going to be more attracted to the younger girls because they're dumb I think it's <laughs> the thing though like attracts like so yeah. hopefully I love her I, love I, was, I was a lot dumber at 22 oh. I was definitely but was that's good though hopefully the you know yeah. the, the boys even if they're 55 year old men they're attracted to perhaps the you know, I don't even want to say it, but the dumb girls and let them let them cancel let each them other out. And yes. Yes. exactly, yes. cancel and, each and, other out. If you're interested in this stuff, that the, the uh, psychologist I had in the show, Dr. David Buss, he has a book called The Evolution of Desire that gets into all these differences between men and women and where they come from in nature. And this freaky differences if you really start to examine. Yeah, men, yeah. Men, get, men get a little weird. Like men get men will focus in. They'll they'll focus in on symmetry and they, they, they visually what their assessment process is very intense. But it's they'll, subconscious. But they, you know. Subconscious. Yeah. They, they'll, they'll, yeah. yeah. they'll focus in on body parts. They'll focus in on things and they don't even, they're like the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> they, they never get down to the shoes. I don't know how you guys get to exactly. the shoes. <laughs> the last yeah, thing. I, but I think like big age differences sometimes they work like you know. 28 and 48, they can party. The 48 year old <laughs> is like still going to the yeah. club, yeah. everything right. is fun. Yeah. But when she's like 45 and he's 63, uh, it's not that fun anymore. Right. Well, that, she that, still wants to have some fun, and he's like, "Are you kidding me?" Well, I not only that, they would, and then they're bummed. What that they don't with count on is men, <laughs> they don't count on, listen, men in their 60s and 70s get really significant medical problems, and you become a nurse for many I know. For many, and the worst yeah. part is, just when you think they're almost out the door and you're gonna get this money, they take Viagra, <laughs> and now you're like, "Oh, I have to still sleep with you." Okay, <laughs> like, wait. thanks a lot. We will, we will leave it you're right. Stuck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, back there. Let us know what you think about this uh, study based on oh. the OK Cupid. Um, were you shocked at all? Let us know below. Oh. That is a